want to take a few moments and talk about this little USB power brick from the folks at RAV Power. Now, I hesitate to review things that aren't directly photography related because, well, I've got plenty on my hands to talk about and fill up your time and my time with that aren't like this. But you know what? I realized they sent me one of these last year and I look back and realize that I use that thing several times a week, almost every day to run things like my cell phone. The way I use my cell phone, it has terrible, terrible battery life. Um, I've talked about in the recent past, the Trigger Trap mobile dongle. It needs to be attached to a smartphone and if you're running a longer time lapse, there needs to be some way to power that device so you don't end up with a dead device halfway through your time lapse. This is your answer. I also use it right now, I'm recording to the Zoom and I use it to power the Zoom. This thing also is powered by AA batteries, but it eats through them. And it's a constant worry to make sure that I have a AA, or it was, until I realized that I could wire this in and it nicely will power it for days. Literally will keep your cell phone powered for days. This one right here is the 13,000 milliamp hour power brick. Uh, and there's a link to buy right down below. It's really simple. The update to this from last year's model that I did review is that the fact that it simply is uh, voltage sensing now. So whatever device you plug into it, it's gonna give it the correct current and that device is gonna happily recharge. It's got two ports. It can charge different things at the same time. You name it, it can charge it. I've plugged in GoPros, the Zoom, a uh, variety of cell phones, including iOS and Android, full iPads, iPad minis, all of those things, it charges very nicely. And in the middle, it's got a small little micro USB charging port where you get the power into it. It's got this little Knight Rider like blue lights that let you know how charged up it is. There's four of them, each represents 25% of power. And if you hold down the power button, you get a little bright LED flashlight actually use that sometimes and find it quite helpful. It may not look so bright right now in this room with the video lights on, but it does a fine job of being able to allow you to dig through a camera bag. Again, um, you know, days of power for most things. And I found that to be really, really useful. I leave it lying around. It holds a charge really nicely. And I'll just mention while I'm talking about RAV power that the way I often charge it up is this little power brick, sorry, not power brick, but power charger um, that sits by my bed. And it simply has four USB ports. Uh, and you've got two, five 2.1 amp and five two one amp. And it's got a place in the back for a standard plug that it comes with and is currently plugged into the wall. I just brought along this along. One downside to this is this little LED blue light right here. It's on when it's plugged in, is extremely bright. If you need a light, night light wherever you plug this in, you'll be very happy. But if you don't want a bright blue light, you should put a little electric tape over it. Both of these things are available on Amazon. There's links to buy them right down below. And really, if you own a GoPro, if you own a Zoom and you are struggling to keep it happily powered, this is your answer right here. If you've got any questions about it, leave a comment right down below. If you found videos like this helpful, hit the thumbs up button. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.